In 2010, SolidWorks makes it a bit easier to add left and right hand versions of mirrored components and also does a better job of helping you add the appropriate mates. When working with assemblies, it's often necessary to create a mirrored copy of one or more components. However, it's sometimes difficult to properly orient the mirrored component. SolidWorks 2010 has improved the functionality of the mirror component tool to make orienting mirrored parts much more intuitive. Here I have a simple assembly consisting of four components, a plate, a bracket, a nut, and a bolt. I also have the right reference plane showing, as I'm planning on using this as the mirror plane. I'd like to copy the bracket, nut, and bolt to the other side of the plate, so I'll launch the Mirror Components tool from the Assembly Toolbar. This is the Mirror Components Property Manager. There are a few changes in SolidWorks 2010, so we'll go through the entire process. The first selection box is asking me to specify the mirror plane. I'll select the right reference plane, but keep in mind you don't have to use one of the three default reference planes. You could use any plane or flat face in the assembly. Next, SolidWorks asks me which components I like to mirror. I'll select the bracket, nut, and bolt in the graphics area. And you can see they've been added to the list in the property manager. I'll click the next arrow to move on. The next step here is to orient the mirrored components. You can see from the preview in the graphics area, if I were to simply click the green check and finish the command now, the bracket would not properly align with the plate. To orient a component, I'll first highlight it in the selection box, and then use the arrows to toggle through the different orientations. You can see from the preview that none of these possible orientations correctly aligns the bracket with the plate. This is because we need to create an opposite hand version of the bracket. To do this, I'll click the Create Opposite Hand Version icon. When I do, you can see the preview update, and the bracket is now properly aligned. Also notice that a mirror icon appears next to the bracket in the property manager, indicating that I'm creating an opposite hand version for this part. I'll quickly make sure that the nut and bolt are oriented the way I'd like. And then click the next arrow. Here in this final step, SolidWorks is asking how we'd like to store the opposite hand version of the bracket. There are two options. We can either create a derived configuration that is stored with our original bracket file or create a new part file for the mirrored bracket. If you choose to create a new part file, you can either add a prefix or a suffix to the current part name or give the new part a custom name. You can choose whether or not to keep the link to the original file by using the Break Link for Mirrored Parts checkbox. You can also choose whether you'd like the new part file to be saved in the same folder as the original file by enabling the Place Files in One Folder checkbox. Instead of creating a new file, I'll choose the Derived Configuration option and click the green check to finish the mirror command. Notice that a mirror component icon now appears in the Property Manager. If you need to make any changes to the orientation of the mirrored components or add additional components to the mirror feature, you can do this by clicking on the mirror component icon and selecting Edit Feature. The mirror component tool also maintains the positioning of the mirrored components as well as mirroring any mates. Notice if I delete one of the mates used to position the original bracket. When I move the bracket, its mirrored component repositions as well. Also, if I open the bracket by itself and switch to the Configuration Manager tree, you can see that the mirrored configuration has been created and added to the bracket part.